All right, so the crux game of the series. I like that you guys are using identical starting hands. I noticed that you weren't in game one. I don't. I didn't see if you were in the middle there, but yeah, definitely. So many games of Dominion get decided by the order of your deck um, on the first or second reshuffle in just ways that are not really surmountable. That identical starting hands makes the better player win a lot more, which is nice when you're a good player, and it also makes the game more fun, in my opinion. Um, Alchemist again, Colony... Wow, look at all that money. Um, horse Traders is actually a pretty sick early game card, I'm pretty sure. Sty opened with it, which I like. Philosopher's Stone. So obviously on this board I would be trying to pick up lots of Alchemists. Um, this board is hard to play. There's not much to do with the alchemists. But it's got to be right. Remodel is going to... So, like, you get one terminal action. If you're able to cycle your deck with alchemists, which you should be able to, you're going to get one terminal action this board, because there's no plus actions. So, remodel is probably the one Cycling means you get tournament cards, which means you get Trusty Steed, which means one more action, I guess. In which case, you probably want another remodel. And then just sort of build up with the remodels. You're probably able to draw your deck convincingly enough that you get to draw the cards that you remodel into the turn you remodel into them, which means you can like remodel something into a Platinum then play it the same turn. It means you can get multiple prizes in one turn with just one province, stuff like that. I, yeah, I would just go for that deck. And it looks like that's sort of what happened. Is it RC Cola? Well, see, I wouldn't buy anywhere near that much money. What's the point? You can't draw that much money. It makes more sense to have less money in your deck such that you can draw it all and play it all every turn. Um, remodel is the only way to trash, so you also, like, it's really hard to get rid of these silvers and golds. Yeah, I would not be going for anywhere near that much, and I think that would speed up the game a lot more because as it's 26 turns, I think probably more like 23 turns. I'm just making up a random number. But that's really what I think. Okay. Potion versus horse traders. Silver, silver. See you already. Like, it's not quite there because you're going to pick up the remodel early, which I noticed actually neither of you did. Like, I, I would be pretty tempted not to buy a silver. Since there are models there, you can buy a silver, but... Gee, that sounds so crazy, but, like, genuinely, there's not that much reason to want a silver in your deck on this board. Tournament is going to get you plenty of money. Okay, so anyway, we continue, we get Alchemist, Horde. See, I'm definitely not going to be buying a Horde on this board. You want like three treasure total in your deck maybe, maybe four or five. Horde is just going to like give you a ton of treasure and then you can't draw it every turn anyway, so it's worth very little and it diminishes the value of your other cards. Although Stai is 
it should be noted, not going for the alchemist strategy at all. He's not bought potion, which, yeah. It's another strategy. I don't think it's as good. Turning on through, buying hordes, both of them. Again, I, I don't really like that that much on this board. Board is good on a board where you cannot draw your deck, or on a board where you can draw your deck so convincingly that you, like, actively want to be putting more cards in it. Um, just adding a ton of gold to your deck for little reason, when you can't draw your deck anyway, eh, it's like mediocre, it's, it's probably a little bit good. I'm not sure I understand why you're playing fairgrounds to get golds on turn 8. Like you're adding, if you average it, which doesn't exactly work, but if you average it, you're buying 2 cards worth 1.5 bucks here on turn 8 on a colony board. Like the victory points it's giving you are just not very relevant at the end of the game. So you're buying like 2 cards which are worse than silver in one turn. I would not like it if you were buying one card that was silver in one turn. Mm. Yeah, when you were buying hordes, I was assuming that the plan was to buy more hordes and then get like four golds for one victory point thing somehow. I guess that's a little silly. Maybe I just hate Horde on this board, actually. I think I probably do. Yeah, that's that's more like what I was thinking. Getting two golds for a province. You want a province anyway, because there are tournaments. So that seems fine. And it looks like the rest of the game is just like buying money or victory point cards, which is pretty boring. And in the end, those alchemists, I guess, pulled through. So yeah, that's how I would have played this board instead. I guess there were a couple of boards that I would have played completely differently. And then, like, just a few small things on the other boards. Overall, I think it was a pretty intense match. One game decided by one point, and then it comes down to the fifth game. And the fifth game was not very far apart either. I'm sure that there were some draws in there which could have made it go either way. Did it end on provinces? It did end on provinces. So yeah, if Stai gets the last province somehow, instead of RC Cola, Stai has the one. So yeah, close game. Fun to look through. My throat is dry and I have had enough commentating on Dominion. I hope that if you made it this far, you got something out of it.